When it comes to CCTV camera power, there's a variety of options to choose from, ranging from low voltage, 12 volt DC, and 24 volt AC options, to single line solutions such as power over ethernet and power over coax. Regardless of the power type or method used, proper voltage and amperage are required to ensure long-term trouble-free operation. In this video, we'll discuss CCTV power best practices, common installation mistakes, and technologies that take the frustration out of CCTV power. Tip number one, check the camera's voltage type before installing the camera. For example, a common mistake is connecting a 12 volt DC only camera to a 24 volt AC power supply. Having the incorrect voltage at the camera can result in irreversible damage and void the warranty. To eliminate the uncertainty of voltage, consider a camera that supports dual voltage operation. Clinton Electronics has a wide range of dual voltage cameras that work on both 12 volt and 24 volt systems without the risk of frying the camera. Tip number two, calculate the voltage at the camera using a voltage drop calculation. A common rule of thumb is that a voltage drop of no more than 10% of the original voltage is acceptable. For example, 10.8 volts would typically be sufficient to power a 12 volt camera. If your estimates show under voltage, you may need to use a larger gauge wire or shorten the distance between the power supply and the camera. It's also a good idea to use a voltmeter after installation to double check the actual voltage at the camera. To make checking the camera's voltage easier, select Clinton Electronics cameras include RVM or rated voltage monitoring technology. With RVM, the installer can instantly check if the camera has the correct voltage using the LED indicator light. For more information on RVM technology, click the link in the description. Tip number three, plan for the highest possible power draw. If your camera has IR LEDs or a motorized lens, those features will consume more power when they're on. Make sure your power supply has more than enough amperage to handle the maximum power draw of the camera. Take for example our CE VX3 QHD IR dome camera. During the day, it consumes approximately 200 milliamps of power on DC 12 volts. As you can see, with the 500 milliamp power supply, it works just fine during the day. But at night, when the IR LEDs are on, the power supply is overloaded and the camera stops working. To correct this, the installer should use a 1 amp or higher power supply to account for the camera's maximum power draw. Tip number 4, the 80% rule. When powering cameras, it's recommended that you only use 80% of the power supply's maximum capacity to avoid overload issues. Let's assume we have 16 cameras, each drawing 250 milliamps. In order to meet the 80% rule, our power supply should have a maximum total power output of at least 5 amps. By adhering to the 80% rule, you can ensure the power supply's longevity and account for any sudden demand for more power, such as when the system is first turned on. We hope this video has given you some helpful advice on how to avoid making these common CCTV installation mistakes. If you need help choosing the right camera or power supply for your next installation, please contact us at 1-800-447-3306 or visit us at clintonelectronics.com.